Blah, blah, blah. I'm SpongeBob and I still work at the airport, doodly dee, doing my job. Um, uh, Mr. Uh, Bob, is it? Yeah. Yes, hello, Mr. Uh, SpongeBob. I just wanted to, um, let you know the airport has been, uh, you know, closed down for about four months now. Yeah? You can go. Uh, I'm sorry. SpongeBob, I emailed you about five months ago, like a month in advance, letting you know that the airport was going to be closing down. The airplane is decommissioned, you know, we only had the one airplane, um, we can't run this business anymore. You, you, you ignored the email and you've been showing up every day since. I stopped paying you, you've still been coming to work. Yeah, and what's your point, dinglebag? Well, first off, I'm your boss, you shouldn't talk to me like that. Second, um, you need to stop coming here, they're going to demolish this building. I want to die inside. No, listen, no, stop that, stop that. We can't have you doing that here. SpongeBob, you're fired. Who? That was the name of an episode. What? No, you can't do this to me. This was. This, this, this was. This is my life. I, I gave up my child to get a job. I, I. You did what now? Um, escaped from you. Great. Get rid of SpongeBob. Check, uh, check that off the list. Uh, let's see. More changes. Second thing to do is to get rid of this hideously old, grody sign. Uh. And replace it with this new age, beautiful sign. Hey, do you think that while you're down there, um, you know, changing things up, do you think that you could, you know, um, maybe relieve me of my duties? No, you were up there to light the whole town as punishment for- what, what did you even do again? I don't even remember. Yeah, well, you're being punished for it, so, you know, stay up there and light up the town. A fly died right in front of me. I had to witness that. I don't care. <sighs> and now time to clean up the mess of the rest of the town. Oh dear lord, no. Alright, you know what? Maybe there's something I could do in due time. I just, uh, uh... There's just no way I can do all this by myself. You think that maybe, you know, you could have me, um, clean up a bit of the town? I mean, I could just, I'm Kirby, so I can just inhale the mess, you know? And, you know, just get rid of it? Are you trying to say that what I'm doing is wrong? Absolutely not, sir. I will beat you with this cane. Please don't. But I will. Anyway, I'm gonna have to find some help to uh, clean up the town. But for now, one more change needs to be made. Oh, well, hello there, Mr. Mayor. Uh, hello, Chef. How are you doing today? Would you like your um, uh, snickerdoodle for the day? I have never once asked for a snickerdoodle. I did not think you even, you know, sell snickerdoodles. I don't. Okay then. Well, if you're not in here to buy food, then what are you? Uh, what, what are you doing in here? Listen, chef. I've come here to say you're missing out on some, uh, you know, rules and regulations. What? Some, what? Yeah, we've got some new uh, rules here in Rosenberg. I'm making some changes in case you haven't heard. Well, first off, um, let me point out your uh, kitchen is an absolute mess. You have spider webs covering every inch of your um, entire workplace. Yeah, well, those, you know, they make the juice that I put into the nectar, into the syrup. Isn't that's why it's called spider syrup, you absolute buffoon. Right, well, here's another problem. Your tables are not very sturdy. Oh, you know, they don't eat off of this. Then where are your patrons supposed to eat? On the, on the ground? On the ground, yes. Um, and where are they supposed to park? Well, you know, of course, by the, you know, the parking garage. Right, and how are they supposed to know that when it's upside down? Hey, those people, you know, they are, they are, those people are determined. I have seen somebody actually get their car up into the air and park it upside down because of the sign change. Why was the sign changed? I didn't do it. I don't know. I don't know. Aliens, maybe, you know, you know, aliens. Right, and one final, your biggest mistake, your sign. Yeah. Why does it look like that? <laughs> I get hungry. 
I'm sorry, you've been eating your sign? Yeah. Yeah, that's a big major offense. We don't allow sign eaters here, okay? Now, you can either go to jail, right? No, please. I won't last a minute. They'll cook me and eat me in there. They're cannibals. Jeffrey Dahmer was in jail. You know how it'll look on my record if I went in jail? They'd, they'd call me Jeffrey Dahmer. I don't know. I'm... Right, well, you've got to go. What do you mean I've got to go? Either I put you in jail or, you know... Wait, what? Listen, you just gotta... If you don't leave and shut down your bar, then I'm putting you in jail. That's what I'm trying to get out of my mouth hole. Okay. It's been a... It's been an honor working with you, sign. Right, you've done your thing, now get out of here. Okay. They see me rolling. Great. And now to find somebody to clean up the damn town. Ugh. Ugh. I feel like I have nowhere to go anymore. Maybe, maybe Mario and Luigi will let me live with them. No. Why not? Because you're gay. You suck one dick, and now everybody says you're the gay guy. Oh, my God. Well, I guess that means I'll have to go to my old humble abode. <laughs> yeah. Wow, it looks exactly like it used to. Oh, my good God. Except for now, with the addition of Mr. Mold. Hi, I'm the moldy mold that is molded into your house, you fucking degenerate. Hey, there is absolutely no need to be crass. I've got a belly button. <laughs> <laughs> Can you leave? I don't like you very much. Yo, I don't like you. You know, squatters have rights, you know. Every human being on this planet has rights. I know, sadly. Listen, you either get off my... Get out of my house, or, you know, I'm gonna... <laughs> bye aye, aye. Or I'm gonna beat you senseless to death. With nothing... But my eyelash, my <laughs> humongous eyelash. And you know what I'm gonna do, big boy? <laughs> Just what are you gonna do? I'm gonna eat your eyebrow, your eyelash, if you get close to me with it. Oh, really? Absolutely. Well, then I'm not going to do that anymore. Okay, wow, I had actually... <clears throat> Okay, wow, well, I had actually really wanted to eat an eyelash today, but if you're going to be like that, then I'll just leave. Give me a minute here. Hold on, I've, I've almost got it. Oh, dang. See you later. Dang it! Huh, well, with Mr. Meaty gone, I guess that means I got my, uh, uh, house back. You know, nothing very important. My life is miserable. Absolutely miserable. <laughs> I can't believe it. I gave away my, my son to get a job, I think. I don't even remember. It's been so long. But, well, at least now I have you. Photo. <laughs> at least I have you, you know, my, um... God, God, that's creepy. <gasps> At least I have you, my remote control car self. Lol, nope. <laughs> All alone. <laughs> it's time to cry myself to sleep. Comedy gold. <laughs> All alone. No friends. No family. No, I'm Larry the Cucumber. <laughs> Everything is meaningless. You are absolutely right, Father. Oh, good Jesus Christ, what happened to you? Don't worry, Father, I will come down and greet you. I bless the rains down in Africa. How are you doing? I was doing a lot better before you showed up. So, Father, I have many questions for you. Okay. But first, if you have any questions, I will appreciate answering them because I've become a wiser and much better person. Okay. <laughs> Alright, first off, when did your balls drop? I mean, God, your voice is so deep now. Right, I can't... 
I can't actually answer that. Why? But my, my voice is higher than yours. My voice is higher than your voice. Right. I was hoping you would ask about my... Beautiful... <laughs> about my phantasmical oracle hair. I was actually really hoping we wouldn't want to talk about the hair. Now see, it all started when you first abandoned me. Oh, God. There I was, left to walk and roam the earth all alone. I was left alone by my father. Yeah, I know, that was me. Shut up, I'm telling the story. So there I was, left all alone. Life was... suckish. <laughs> Yet I prevailed. I spent time in nature, getting to know it, feeding off of it. The way you said that sounded gross. And now here I am, a better man. I have not washed my hair, I have not cut my hair, I have not even touched my fingernails in months. That doesn't make you one with nature, it makes you an unhygienic bastard and I hate that. Yeah, well what have you been doing with your life? Oh man, I lost my oracle. Huh? Well what have you been doing with your life, father? I managed an airplane. You flew an airplane? No, I typed buttons on a computer, but I think they made the airplane go. I almost puked. Right, anyway, you got a job that's one step better than where we were when we were a family. Why, um... Why are you not at your job? I, th I got laid off. I mean, fired. I mean, the yeah, the company disbanded. That is why you are upset, father. Yeah. I understand. I understand completely. Life is... <laughs> Life is meaningless. God is dead. And we... We are the ones who have killed him. Jesus Christ, you're wearing a uh, Mickey Mouse happy birthday shirt. You have no right to get um, philosophical on me, okay? Okay, and also get off of me. I abandoned you because you were annoying. And now, well, now you're just, now you're hot. <laughs> no, now, not even, not, now. Now, not only are you annoying, but you're also a little faggot. So I really, really want you out of my life again. You know, even the... Forget the last five minutes, whatever, you've been in my life again. I want you out. Well, father, if you really feel that way, then you... Deserve to die. You sound like the one that's dying. <laughs> I will now cut your lifespan in half. You will now be drafted as a math. <laughs> you are now slowly or quickly going to die of old age. That's the basic spell I'm trying to put on you. <laughs> And that is exactly how it goes. Yeah, that sounded super gay. Also, here's a mirror, and I'm going to reflect it back to you. Bing! What? No! <laughs> you fool, father. I'm going to age now. Good. That's disgusting! Oh, good lord. Huh. My child. Did did the death rattle? Huh. My child. Yeah, and then... Oh, God, I really don't want to look at that. So that's... That was my, um, child who... God, that's the full size he would have grown to. And then some. Am I supposed to learn a lesson about not killing your child here? You should. You should have known that. Well, I didn't. Okay, well, I'm not actually dead. Ah. I wish you were again. I'm close to death. Okay. I'm really good with the distance we're at right now, actually. Father, I just have one thing that I would really like to 
say to you? Yes, my son? Fuck you. Oh. That's twice I've been called that in one day. Huh. I don't feel very good. <sighs> I haven't even seen that movie. This has been going on for way too long, boy, oi, oi. Yep. I just... Yep.